Hi, in this lecture we will understand what are classes and objects. So far we have seen grouping of codes in multiple levels. First we started with loops in which we could come we were able to combine multiple lines of code and make use of it for repeated operation. Then we started with functions where it was a higher level packaging. Multiple other statements together different set of operations we grouped it into a piece of code called as function. So these were the topics we have seen so far. There is even higher level of packaging our uh, programming statements that is called as class. We will not go much deeper into class but a higher level overview of uh, understanding we will get in this short lecture. So what are classes is classes are nothing but something like a blueprint we can call it. So what this blueprint means say I want to have certain num certain functions grouped together certain variables grouped together and represent a particular functionality so in this case say i am i am having i am representing a function called func and a simple variable so i will i am just taking a simple example of printing a particular variable that is already present inside and assigning on one another variable inside this class. So this does not mean anything in a real world application but let us understand how a particular class has to be created and how a variable or function has to be created inside this class. So it is as simple as uh, the concept of indentation is applied inside for a class also. So whatever we have to include inside a class that needs to be indented and in a particular column we have to start writing the variable and when we are when we are writing our functions it has to start in the same column number and our function can be defined in that particular line so here the function is define keyword function name is function and there also has to be a keyword called as self this is a mandatory keyword for any function to be understood that this function belongs to this specific class so this only when we give this self keyword this function will be taken as belonging to the specific class um, so that we will be able to access this function and execute it and what we are doing inside this function is we are creating a particular variable and we are printing that variable as well and even for this variable the same thing is same thing applies this particular variable whatever we are creating belongs to this specific class so that is the reason i am giving this self keyword self dot b i am giving it here so we are introducing an operation called as dot that is called as dot operator okay so we will be seeing it in the next step also so to represent this particular variable belonging to this class i am making use of this self dot b okay now how to access this variable and function of this class quite simple to call to make use of this variable I need to make use of class name dot a. So this dot operator represents all the elements present inside this class. So I am making use of this dot operator to access elements present inside this specific class. So in this case I am accessing only a variable called as a. So first let me create this in the console window. So I am selecting all these statements and I have executed it. My class has got created and when I try to access this particular element inside a print statement let me execute it again. My variable a was able to be accessible and the output has got printed. Next let me try to call the function ok. So in this case I am trying to call the function but it will not get executed. So there is a reason which I will come to it. First let me execute this and I will show it to you. When I execute it this way the function will not get executed it will only tell the function address. The reason why it is only telling the function address is there is no opening and closing of brackets. Now after adding this even if I execute it like this it will not get executed. The reason is we will be able to execute a function of a class only with its object. Okay. So again I am repeating it we will be able to execute a function of its class only with an object in python language. 
So what is object? An object is a representation of a class. So we cannot directly execute functions of a class, but with a representation of a class, we will be able to execute it. So that representation, we will be calling it as object. And how to create it is, we will give a class name followed by open close brackets and the resulting output will be a class object. So now to access all the all and complete elements of this class, we can use this object name and the dot operator. Now when I call this function open and close brackets, I will be able to execute this function. Okay. So now it still says B is not accessible. Okay. The reason is I have created is it as self dot b, but I have called it as only b. It's a typo from my side. Now I will correct it as self dot b, execute all these lines again, and then again let me create this class object and using this object I am calling the function. Now it prints the output, the print statement hello and self dot b the variable. Okay, so this is quite clear. I uh, quite quite clear, I guess. There is one more uh, statement which I did not explain. So this is print of my class dot double underscore doc double underscore. So what this does is this accesses the documentation string that is already present in the class. To retrieve this, we can make use of this particular variable. So when I execute this, this retrieves the documentation string and puts into the console output because of this print statement. Okay. So now in this way of creating a class and object, I have created a class, but there are no inputs passed into this class. Only if I am able to pass inputs to this class, I can accept certain values inside. Right. So how is this, how, how we can make it possible is by way of creating a special function inside this class we can pass inputs to it. Okay. So we will go for that example. So I am taking a, another uh, example which is a short example. In this case I am having a class called a student and to pass inputs to this particular class. I can create a function the special function as I mentioned called as double underscore in it double underscore. And the arguments that I have to pass for this particular construct, uh, class. This function will be called as the constructor function. Okay. So whatever values are inputs that I have, I, I intend to pass to this class, those will be part of the constructor arguments. Okay. Say I want to create a object for this class with this particular name then this input will go into the constructor meaning the init function okay so there is a default argument self as i explained in the first class example there has to be a default argument of self so there is going to be no change in it and in addition to it if there is any argument that can be passed or that is need to be passed we need to create those arguments as well so whenever i create i am going to create a class this class creation step will execute this constructor as well. So it's a step, it's a step by step process. Whenever I'm going to create a class, uh, sorry, create an object out of a class, this class will by default, this class, this object creation step will by default execute this constructor function. So when this constructor function executes, this input value goes as the function parameter and assigns to this self dot name variable and this print statement also obviously gets executed and there are two other functions as well define show and define double underscore str double underscore this is a special function in this class so what i will do is i will create this class first and then let me create a object for this class as student now when i'm going to call this student dot show statement this prints hello irfan Thus, this particular object now contains the variable self dot name, show function and string function. Okay, so that is why when I call the show function, it prints print hello and self dot name, the value which is 
already saved into this object. And this string function is a special function as I mentioned. The purpose of the string function is to return a specific string representation whenever I call this object. So say for example, I am going to call this object inside this print statement self print student. So what will happen? This print of student, student is a object. But when I expect, expect my student object to print a string output to the console window, I need to have a string as a special function and I need to return some string value also. So by this way, I can differentiate each and every object with whatever value I want it, want it to be differentiated. This is an optional function which you can safely ignore. There is no harm in it. Okay. So this example was mainly to introduce the concept of constructor and passing input values to a constructor of uh, class. Okay. So with this, I will end the uh, class concept. Next, we will enter into the uh, other data types, the extended data types and data science related concepts. See you in the next video.